Jamie Vardy and Hakim Ziyech have three things in common. They play in the Premier League, they're incredibly talented, and they love snooze. Vardy was spotted clutching a pack. Ziyech was captured by cameras putting a suspicious substance behind his gum, potentially hinting that he uses it too. It's hard to say for certain it was snooze, but it certainly looks similar. You sachet have often been found in the dugouts of Premier League Stadium, just like Leicester's King Power. As for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Jamal Lasella, they've been spotted following snooze accounts on Instagram. So why do footballers use this substance and is it dangerous? Also, what the hell is it? Well, it's a sachet that you fit between your gum and your top lip and you keep it in your mouth until it starts to lose its flavor. The sachets consist of a powder, a mix of tobacco, water, salt, bicarbonate of soda, and special aromas. Now given snus contains tobacco, nicotine is also present. It's thought that one sachet contains three times more nicotine than a single cigarette. The sale of snus is illegal across Europe, apart from Switzerland and Sweden, the country which produces and consumes the most. Snooze provides its users with an instant boost that lasts just a few minutes. And that's why footballers are such big fans. Dr. Mundell, a researcher at Massa University in New Zealand, conducted a study on the consumption of nicotine while playing sport. According to his finding, the use of nicotine can improve a player's alertness, concentration, power, and strength. Essentially, it acts as a stimulant. Once the high concentration of nicotine found in snus reaches the brain, the system which counterbalances that activates and releases more dopamine. As well. Thanks to the increased levels of dopamine, communication between our nervous system improves and feelings of positivity propagate. Nicotine also increases adrenaline, which subsequently increases your heart rate. Footballers taking snooze can therefore feel less nervous, more concentrated, and more stimulated for a brief period of time. A principal reason which propels players to take it before training or even games. In an effort to curb its proliferation, some Premier League side have implemented a 10,000 pound fine for those that continue to take snooze. But the actual effects are little known. For some, snooze is a legitimate tool for helping improve concentration and reactivity. Whereas for others, it's simply a momentary boost. So could we surmise that it is in fact a doping substance? Yes and no. It isn't currently included on World Anti-Doping Agency's list on banned substances. The World Anti-Doping Agency has three criteria when it comes to banning a substance. The improvement of performance, the health risk, and whether sporting integrity comes into question. And speaking of its side effects, well, let's look at the damage it can cause. Consummation of snus can trigger tears or holes, as well as causing your gums to recede. In addition, scientists have discovered a link between the use of snus and pancreatic cancer, as well as throat and mouth cancer. Users also carry an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. So in response to the second part of our question, using snus is dangerous regardless of whether you're a football or not. That's perhaps one of the reasons which pushed Jamie Vardy to kick the habit. Although he revealed a few years back that it was actually due to the media storm it generated. He was heavily criticized in the press after being spotted carrying a packet during Euro 2016. Ahead of the 2018 World Cup, Leicester City's talisman was quizzed on whether he still took it. I had to kick it because you lot made a big deal about it, so I don't think I'll be getting pictured with them again. I stopped taking it literally when it started to be plastered all over the papers. They made a big thing of it. Don't know why, there's nothing wrong with them. I decided for myself. I thought I don't need the hassle. So, well, there you have it. That's all you need to know about football's relationship with snooze.